Hello everyone, welcome to Yoga Upload. I'm Maris Aylward. Today's class is Yoga for Beginners. It's perfect for those of you who are just starting out with your yoga practice. We take it slow in this one. We break down the alignment of some of the postures, but we still work. We strengthen the upper body and the lower body, we stretch and lengthen the muscles, and also work on our balance in this one. As always, just do what you can, rest when you need to, and enjoy your practice. Start in a cross-legged seat. And press the hips down, lengthen your spine, press the shoulders back and down. Keep the chest lifted, relax your hands on your thighs or your knees, and close the eyes. Keep that length in your spine as you press your hips down, reach the crown of your head up, and relax your face, your neck. We begin our practice by observing our breath. And for now, we're not trying to control it or change it in any way. Simply observe your inhale and observe your exhale. Anytime you catch the mind wandering, getting distracted, that's okay. Just bring your attention back to your breath. And gradually deepen your breath, lengthen your inhale and lengthen your exhale. Keep the breath smooth and even. And in our yoga practice, we'll try and breathe in and out through the nose, but if at any time you need to exhale through the mouth, that's okay too. So just make sure you're breathing. Let each deep breath calm you down. Just let go of whatever happened today. Let go of whatever you need to do after yoga. This is your time to take care of yourself. And take one more deep inhale. On your exhale, open the eyes. Blink a few times if you like to move around. That's okay, you can move your head. Maybe some neck rolls, move the shoulders. And we'll start here with some seated postures. We'll change the crisscross of your legs, switch the leg that's in front so you balance the right and left sides. We'll start with a side stretch. Place your right hand on the floor and reach the left arm up. Lengthen that left side. On an exhale, add a deeper side stretch. Keep pressing your left hip down as you reach your left fingertips up. And here you can move the head. So look in the direction that feels good for your neck. You can look up or to the side or maybe down at your mat. Continue with your deep breaths here. And if you feel you can go deeper into the side stretch, walk your right hand further away from you. Go a little lower but still keep your left hip pressing down. And take one more breath. And release, come back to center. Bring your left hand to the floor now and lift your right arm up. So lengthen that right side and then side stretch. Keep pressing the right hip down as you reach the right fingertips away. So you feel opposing directions in the pose. And feel this right side, your right rib cage expand with each inhale. And if you feel you can go deeper, walk the left fingertips away from you, go lower. So again, just find what feels good. And one more breath. And release. Come back to the center. Now move on to hands and knees. So all fours. Your knees are hip distance apart and your hands are shoulder distance apart. Make sure to stack your joints. Stack your hips over the knees and your shoulders over your wrists. 
Now spread the fingers and press the palms down. If this doesn't feel good on your wrist, any time you can switch to using fists on the floor. Cat cow. Inhale, lift your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Drop your belly and look forward. Then exhale, curl your tailbone under, round your back, scoop your belly in. We'll do that again. Inhale, lift your tailbone up, drop your belly, look forward. Exhale, curl your tailbone around your spine and push the floor away with the hands. Again, inhale, lift your tailbone up, arch the back. And exhale, curl the tailbone around your spine and stretch the upper back. Let's do three more of this. Inhale. You initiate each ac action with your tailbone. Exhale, curl the tailbone. And the rest of the spine follows. Relax the head. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. And last one. Inhale. And exhale. Come back to the center. Now we'll do the same movement with the spine, but we'll add the leg. So lift the right leg up. Then keep your leg bent. Drop the belly, arch the back, look forward. Inhale here. Now exhale, round your spine. Bring your knee into the chest. And again, inhale, right leg back and up. Exhale, bring the knee in. We're starting to activate our core. Let's do two more. Inhale. Exhale, really hug the thigh in. Push the floor away. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, knee to chest and hold it here. Breathe for three, two, one. And release your right knee to the floor. All right, we'll try the other side. So if you need to shake out the wrists every now and then, that's okay. Left leg up. Drop the belly, look forward, inhale. And exhale, round your back. Bring the knee into the chest. Three more times, inhale. And exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale, bring the knee in. Last one, inhale, and exhale, knee to chest, hold it here, really hug the thigh in, and breathe for three, two, one, and release the left knee down. Again, if you need to, shake out the wrists, shake out the fingers. Okay, move your hands forward, maybe an inch or two inches. And we'll begin to move our whole upper body in circular motion. So lean forward, press to the side, then press the hips back. And you can do this just at your own pace. Move the upper body in circles. And really, there's no right or wrong way to do this one. You kind of just do what feels good. If you like to pause in one part, that's fine. And now reverse the direction of your circle. Lean forward, side, sit the hips back. This is a good way to wake up your body and prepare for practice. And also here, you'll begin to notice how different parts of the body feel. You might hear some popping, some uh, cracking noises every now and then. That's okay. Just be gentle with yourself. And now come back to the center. Now we'll work on downward facing dog. And if you're new to yoga, this might be a challenging pose for you. So be patient. We'll take our time getting into it. Spread your fingers wide. Press down on the finger pads. And you will have a little bit of space between your palm and the mat. Look at the wrists. They're parallel to the short edge of your mat. And middle fingers are going to be pointing forward. Press the hands down. Now legs, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, and press your thighs back. You're forming an inverted letter V with the body. Now anytime this is too much, you can always take a break. Just bring your knees down to the floor, rest, and when you're ready, come back up. We'll try that again. Spread the fingers, press the palms down, tuck your toes under, and come up. 
press the thighs back, press the heels down. And here, move the legs, walk your feet in place, press your heels down one at a time. And notice how the back of the legs feel, the calves, we're starting to stretch them. Now pause in your down dog, press both heels down towards the floor. Even if they don't touch the mat, that's okay. If the hamstrings feel tight, bend the knees a little bit. Look at the feet, they're hip distance apart. Head is relaxed. You can even shake the head no to make sure it's relaxed. Make sure you're breathing. And we'll stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Now release. Bring your knees down to the floor. Take a short break in child's pose. Bring your knees wider than the hips. Sit your hips back and rest the upper body on the floor. Rest your forehead on the mat if you can. And come back up to hands and knees. From here, step your right foot forward. Stack your right knee directly over your right ankle. This is low lunge. Walk your hands up. Pull your low belly in. So you start to feel a stretch in the front of the left hip, left thigh. And when you feel you have your balance, reach the arms up. Relax the face and the shoulders. Fix your gaze on one spot in front of you. Or to test your balance, you can look up at the ceiling. Keep your breath going. If you're looking up, look forward again. And we'll twist. Place your left hand on your right thigh and exhale, twist to the right, reach your right arm back. Your left hand is guiding your right thigh to keep your hips facing the front of your mat. Look over your right shoulder. One more breath here in your lunge. And release from your twist. Come back to the center. Plant the palms to the floor. Step your right leg back. And downward facing dog. Spread the fingers. Press the hands down. Tuck the toes under. And come up. Feet hip distance apart. Relax your head. Keep the breath going. We'll stay here for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Bring the knees to the floor. And we'll do our low lunge on the other side. Step your left foot forward. Stack your left knee directly over your left ankle and walk the hands up. Pull the low belly in and reach the arms up. Fix your gaze on one spot in front of you. Again, if you want to challenge your balance, look up at the ceiling. Keep the face soft, keep your breath steady. If you're looking up, look forward again. We'll add the twist. Place your right hand on your left thigh and exhale, twist to the left. Reach your left arm back. Your hips are still facing the front of your mat. Your right hand is a reminder. And one more breath here. Now release from your twist. Come back to the center. Plant the palms down. Step your left leg back. So from all fours, come back up to your downward facing dog. Press the palms down, tuck your toes under and come up. Relax your head. From down dog, look forward at the space between your hands and slowly walk your feet forward towards your hands. Just walk, walk, walk. When you get there, keep the feet hip distance apart Bend the knees and relax your upper body completely in this forward fold. Let your head be heavy, 
No tension in the neck and the shoulders. Now cup your elbows, make a box with the arms. And if you like, you can sway side to side, if that feels good. Now release your arms down towards the floor. And with your knees still slightly bent, on an exhale, we'll slowly roll up to standing. Press your feet down. And use your core to help pull you up. Once you're all the way up, inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, bring the palms together, hands to the heart, mountain pose. And relax your arms by your sides. Feel nice and tall here in your mountain pose. Press the feet down, activate your thighs, lengthen your spine. The crown of your head is reaching up, but shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. Good. Now place your hands on your hips. We'll work on some standing postures. Step your left foot way back and turn to face the long edge of your mat. Now from here, turn your toes out. So your toes are pointing to the corners of your mat. And bend the knees, drop the hips into a wide squat. Now it's challenging for the lower body. Now watch your knees, make sure your knees are pointing in the same direction as your toes. So aim for the middle toe, just point your kneecap towards the middle toe. Point the tailbone down, belly in, the spine is long. Now stretch the arms out to the sides with the palms facing up. I know, th I know this is a lot. We'll add some movement first here before we hold it. Inhale, reach the arms up, straighten the legs. Exhale, palms together, bend the knees, drop into the squat. We'll do that again. Inhale, reach the arms up, straighten the legs. Exhale, come back down. Three more times. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, maybe sit lower each time if you can. Last one. And exhale. Stay here, keep your chest lifted, stretch the arms out, palms face up. Relax your shoulders and your face, no wasted energy. Make sure you're breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release the arms, release the legs. <sighs> Catch your breath. All right, lots of work there in the thighs. We'll work on our warrior two now. Turn your left foot in and turn your right foot out. So your right toes are pointing to the short edge of your mat. Now bend the right knee. And watch this right knee, stack it directly over your ankle. Don't let it go past your ankle. The spine is long, stretch the arms out, the arms parallel to the floor, gaze softly at the right hand. This is your warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Let's add some movement. Inhale, reach the arms up, straighten the right leg. Exhale, bend the knee, arms up. Again, inhale. And exhale. Three more times, inhale. Exhale. Two more. Exhale. And last one. Exhale, pause in warrior two. Keep your lower body strong. Reverse warrior. Right palm faces up. Reach your right arm up and rest your left hand just very lightly on your left leg. Keep that lunge in the right leg. I know that's challenging on that right thigh. Gaze in the direction that feels good for your neck. You can look up at your right hand or down at your back foot. Almost there. Last breath here. And then release, hands on the hips, and straighten that right leg, give it a break, and we'll try the other side. Turn your right foot in, left foot out. Now don't worry about right and left. If you find yourself mirroring what I'm doing, that's okay. We'll do both sides so you'll still be even. It doesn't matter what side you start with. Okay, bend the left knee now. Stack the knee over the ankle. So feel that stretch. In the inner thighs, we're working the legs. Keep your 
right foot pressing down, arms out. It's also work for the arms. Shoulders relax. Warrior two. Let's add the movement. Inhale, arms up, straighten the left leg. Exhale, bend the knee, arms out. Again, inhale. And exhale. Three more times. Exhale. Two more. Exhale. And last one. Exhale. Keep the lower body the same for reverse warrior. Your left palm faces up. Reach your left arm up. Rest your right hand very lightly on the right leg. Stay with the challenge of that lunge in your left thigh. And gaze wherever feels good for your neck. Last breath. And release. Arms out, hands on the hips, straight in the left leg. Turn your left foot in. Okay, now you're facing the long edge of your mat. Check the feet, turn your toes in, turn your heels out, and keep the knees soft. So a small bend in your knees for this. Hands on your hips, point the elbows back. Inhale, lengthen your spine, and exhale, fold forward from your hips. So keep that length in your spine as you go all the way down. Relax the head, and eventually release the arms down to the floor. You can keep your fingertips just grazing the mat, or you can place your palms level with the feet. Either way is okay. Feel the lengthening in the back of the legs and the spine, shoulders away from the ears, and relax your head. And get ready to come up. Walk your hands forward. Place the hands on the hips. Press down on your feet to help lift you up. Now heel toe the feet in. And all that means is you bring the feet closer together. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. And that's it. Stand in your mountain pose, Tadasana. Pause for a breath. We'll work on our tree pose, a standing balance pose. Now, if you're new to balancing, you can stay close to a wall so you can use it for support. Let's start with the right foot. Shift your weight to that right leg. Spread your toes. They're relaxed, not gripping the mat. Lift the inner arch of your foot up. Firm up your thigh. So your standing leg stays very strong. You have some choices here. You can place your left foot close to the ground, toes touching the mat to help with your balance. Or you can lift it higher, press it to your leg. Now avoid pressing on your knee, on the joint itself. If you want it higher, if you can lift it higher, press it to the inner thigh. So both sides are pressing together. Keep your spine nice and long and bring the palms together in front of the heart. Relax the shoulders, the face. If you fall out of the pose, it's okay. Just be patient with yourself. Take your time and get back into it. Set your foundation again with your standing foot. Fix your gaze on one spot that's not moving. That will help you focus, help you balance. Make sure you're breathing. I'm wobbling too. Okay, we're almost there. Three, two, one. And release your arms, release the leg. Whew. And shake that foot out if you need to. It's a lot of work on the standing foot, the standing leg. Try your other side, tree pose. Shift your weight to the left foot, spread your toes, press down on the corners of that left foot, lift the inner arch, firm up your thigh. Keep the standing leg strong, place your right foot to the floor, or bring it up to your leg, or bring it to the inner thigh. So both your standing leg and the foot are pressing towards each other. 
Pull your belly in, lengthen the spine again, all the way up to the crown of your head, palms together. And keep returning your attention to your breath. It will help you concentrate. Be patient here. One spot gaze. Right, almost there. Three, two, and one. Release the arms and release the leg. Shake it out. Now move to the top of your mat and stand in your mountain pose again. Tadasana. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, fold forward from your hips. Keep the knees bent as you come down and relax your head. Inhale, lift halfway up, lengthen your spine. Place the palms on your shins. The back is like a tabletop here. Then exhale, fold forward. Try that again. Inhale, just halfway up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Okay, from here, bend the knees more, plant your palms to the mat, and step back to your downward facing dog. This is our last downward facing dog today. We'll hold it a little bit longer. Make sure you're breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And release. Bring your knees down to the floor. All fours. We'll work on a spinal balance here. So again, make sure you're stacking the joints, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Now lift your right leg up. Keep the hips facing the floor. Your kneecap and your toes are pointing down. Pull your belly in. Keep the core engaged. Now when you're ready, when you feel you have your balance, lift your left arm up. So right leg is reaching back, left fingertips are reaching forward. Keep your neck long. Inhale here and exhale. Bring your left elbow and your right knee to the center. Inhale, reach forward, reach back. Exhale, elbow to the knee. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to the knee. Hold it here for three, two, one, and release the left hand, right knee down. Pause for a breath. And again, any time you can switch to fists on the floor if, the, if this feels better for your wrists. We'll try the other side. Left leg up now. And you can even check, look behind you, the kneecap and the toes are pointing down. Hips are level, they're facing the floor. Pull your belly in, keep the neck long. And when you're ready, lift the right arm. We'll add that movement. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your elbow and your knee to the center. Hug them in. Again, inhale, reach forward, reach back. Exhale, elbow to knee. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to the knee. Hold it here for three two, one, and release right hand, left knee down. Now we'll sit, walk the hands back, come down on either side, and bring the legs in front of you. Bound angle pose. So form a diamond shape with the legs, bring the soles of your feet together, and walk your hips back. So kind of peel away the flesh there from the booty. Press the sitting bones down. Lengthen your spine. We did a lot of down dog and things on hands and knees, so if the wrists are feeling a little sore, just shake them out. Another thing you can do is place uh, the backs of your hands on the floor. Just any amount that you can. They don't have to be completely flat on the floor. And then lean back. So you do a little counter stretch 
there for the forearms and the wrists. And release. So keep the legs here for bound angle, Baddha Konasana. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, fold forward from your hips, just any amount that feels appropriate for you. No forcing of your body. Relax the face, shoulders. Notice how the inner thighs feel here, the hips. And breathe through whatever sensations might come up here. Be patient. A few more seconds in the pose. If you feel you can go deeper and still keep your spine long, you can walk your hands forward. And go a little bit lower. And one more deep breath. And release, walk the hands back. Some seated twists here. Extend your left leg forward. Keep the left leg, the left foot active. Now cross your right foot over. Keep both hips rooted to the mat. Keep your spine long. If you find your back rounding like this, move that right foot forward more. And then lengthen the spine. Now hug that right thigh. Right hand to the floor. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, twist your right. Look over the right shoulder. Soften your gaze, relax your jaw. Keep the breath going. Last one here. And release, look to the front, unwind from your twist, and we'll switch. Right leg forward, bend this left knee, cross the left foot over. Keep the hips pressing down, lengthen your spine. Hug this left thigh in, left hand to the floor. Just a very light touch there, make sure you're not collapsing your weight on the left hand. Inhale, lengthen your spine, grow taller, and exhale, twist to your left, Look over your left shoulder. Keep the neck soft, the shoulders soft. One more breath here in your twist. And release. Look to the front. Unwind. Now plant the feet to the floor. Feet are hip distance apart. Reach the arms forward. And slowly roll all the way down to your back. Bridge pose. Keep your feet hip distance apart. And just look to the side uh, quickly. Make sure your knees are stacked over your ankles. And press the feet down. Lift your hips up. And begin to tuck your shoulders in. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, bring the elbows closer together, and if you can, interlace your fingers underneath you. Use the pressing down action of your feet, your arms, and your shoulders to lift your hips and your chest a little higher. So a mild tuck of your chin while you're here. Point your tailbone towards your knees. One more breath here in bridge pose. Now release the hands and slowly roll down your spine, upper back, middle back, lower back. Your tailbone comes down last. And once you're all the way down, bring your feet to the edges of your mat, as wide as your mat. Bring your inner thighs and your knees close together. From here, windshield wiper movements with your legs. So just bring the legs to one side, back to center, and then the other side. So do a few more of these just on your own. Some nice gentle twists here after your bridge pose, which is a back bend.
and come back to the center for pigeon on your back so we'll stretch the hips keep your left leg on the floor cross your right ankle on top of your left thigh and keep your feet active especially your right foot to protect your right knee slide your right arm through that space you've created and bring your left thigh in your hands can either be under your thigh, behind your thigh, or over the shin. It's up to you, whatever you can reach. Relax the face. And you might start to feel the stretch there in the right outer hip, the right thigh. Be patient with your body. To go deeper, as you bring your left thigh closer to your chest, Press your tailbone down towards the floor. Opposing movements, very small, but they give you a lot more sensation in the pose. Deep breaths. Last effort here. And release that left foot down. Uncross your legs and we'll do the other side. Cross your left ankle on top of the right thigh. Keep the feet active. Slide your left arm through that space and bring your right thigh in. As you bring the right thigh closer to the chest, press your tailbone down towards the floor. Feel that in my left hip, left thigh. You might also notice some differences here between your right and left side. So it's good to get to know your body a little bit more. Make sure the face is relaxed. The jaw might tense up when you stretch the hips. So try to soften. Take one more deep breath here. And release the leg. Uncross. Now hug both knees into the chest. Almost at the end here, give yourself a big hug. You've worked the whole body today. If you like to move, you can sway side to side, maybe make circles with your lower back. Reclining twist, stretch your arms out to the sides and drop your knees to the left. Slide your hips to the right. So line up your head, your spine, and your hips. And press your right shoulder down towards the floor. Look over your right arm if that feels okay on your neck. Take two or three more deep breaths. And release, come back to the center. Switch sides. Bring your knees down to the right. Slide your hips to the left. And press your left shoulder down. Soften the belly, soften the face. You can close your eyes if you like. Two or three more breaths. And release, come back to the center. Hug your knees into the chest again. We'll move into happy baby pose. Bring your knees wider and lift the feet up. The soles of the feet are facing the ceiling like you're doing a squat on the ceiling. Press your tailbone down towards the floor you can hold on to your thighs or your legs or your feet if you can reach them. You can stay like this or add a movement. You can rock side to side, maybe extend one leg and then the other. So play around with some movement here.
and take one last breath. And release. It's time for Corpse Pose, Shavasana. Relax your legs on the floor, arms by your sides. This is the most important part of your yoga practice. You can stay here as long as you like. Or if you like a guided relaxation, guided Shavasana, I have another video of that. So you can click on that right now. It's five minutes of guided relaxation. Now let me know how you feel after the practice or if you have any questions, just write them in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Namaste. Thank you.